Hello guys and welcome back. In this video, let's try to actually start shifting our iCare uh, join to the bottom. Okay, to do that, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open again our uh, CR IK foot. Okay, and we, there's no need to print them anymore, so let's just delete that. Okay, alrighty. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to um, continue with this to make it easier. I'm gonna do a sequence so that we can do this first. Right, and then we can go to B and then keep on going from there. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna make another two set of variables. Let me just duplicate this one and this one. I'm gonna change uh, the naming of this just to be the Z offset instead of the target. Uh, so basically what I mean is I want to lerp to that uh, target and uh, with this, these two variables so that we got that in interpolation instead of just a uh, snap. You don't want them to be snapping there, you want them to be lerping, right? So that's why we have the target, right? We have the actual value we eventually will be used to offset these uh, ankle joints. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna drag out from the, the offset target for the left and then get it. Okay, and then we can make a uh, lerp uh, interpolation right underneath uh, the time r for interpolation, drag the value to the value input. Okay, uh, if you have the cursor here, you can see how the command is saying it's gonna take in a float value and output as an accumulated value with a customized scale and clamp. Okay, so uh, we're not gonna scale it, we're not gonna clamp it, so there's no clamp, no scaling, so basically whatever value we have will be the value we're trying to interpolate into. Right, and the starting point of this is zero. Basically, there is an internal static variable uh, that's called um, result here, and it's going to be always lurping to this value we put in, always lurping there with that speed. That's what we're trying to do. And to make it actually work, you have to check on interpret result. That way, the result is actually interpolating into that value. Again, starting with zero, we're interpolating to whatever this value is. This value updates in real time. Right, so that the result will constantly trying to lerp into this value. Okay, uh, with that much of a speed, I'm gonna change that to 15. Uh, seems to be a good value there. Okay, and this is how easy you can do a lerp. Right, we don't even need to create any local variables. This function is fantastic. And then we just go ahead and use that to set up the uh, uh, the actual final location. So that's the offset on the left. I'm gonna do a set and then drag that B there and drag that over there. All right, very cool. And following similar manner, I'm gonna copy that and paste it in here. I'm gonna drag in the R side, get it here first and put that into the value. And then we can just set the R side as well. Okay, and that value is gonna be from here. Okay, now if you do recall, right, um, when we are trying to offset, we're all, always tracing down but the problem is that if we are, for example, standing here, right, you can see there's no way that the IK would work unless we actually move the entire body down for that forward foot to be planted on the ground, right, if you think about it, right, and let's just do another screen capture so it doesn't make sense to you guys, right. So basically, this thing, this hip has to move down for that foot to be able to sl uh, to be uh, planted on the surface underneath. So we have to also offset the pelvis basically, right? The offset pelvis will be the same offset of the foot that needs to go down the most. Otherwise it has to be extended and it doesn't really extend long enough. This leg is not long enough to be there without the hip to be going down. So basically we need to move the hip down the same amount as the foot, whichever one that needs to go down the most. Right, if that makes sense. So we need to offset the, the pelvis, basically. So let's go back here to our code here. Let's stop it. Okay, now which one is the smallest? We can, of course, compare. So I'm gonna drag these two. Uh, again, get those two, right? And we're gonna try to uh, check which one is smaller by doing a less. Okay. Left, uh, uh, left or right, which one is the smaller one? Which one is the one we're offsetting down the most, right? And we can do a if, uh, not the branch if, the other if. 
Let's just need a, doesn't need an execution pin. Okay, and the result goes to the condition, and we just copy these two again, and just put them in the same order. So the smallest one wins here, and that will be the offset we need to apply to the pelvis. So let me make another variable. Um, it's gonna be called pelvis. Pelvis offset or the offset, I guess. Okay, and that's gonna be a float. Okay, and then we can um, drag it over here and do a set, and that just goes there. All right, just like that, we figure out the, the targeting, right? We we'll figure out the offset we need for both the legs and then the pelvis, right? All these three things. Now after that, let me add in another pin here, just to make it easier. I'm gonna go from there, maybe add in a reroute. Doesn't even do that. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to just add in a set uh, transform. Okay, and drag that over there. And when it's setting a transform, and the transform we're setting is for the uh, bone of the IK. Okay, so IK foot left okay and uh the transform here oh well, actually not that transform uh sorry <laughs> it's not set transform it's a uh, transform and it's gonna be uh modify transform yes we're modifying it we're not really setting it let's connect that over there okay again the atom, atom to modify we have one atom, the atom will be again the um the foot IK foot left, right? And the transform uh translation Z will be the one we're modifying. So I'm gonna drag in that Z offset. Get yeah, that's the one that's after interpolation, right? That's the the interpolated value here is gonna be gradually changing to the target. Okay. And if you hover the curse if you look at the mode, you can see this is additive local. Right, uh, which is what we, uh, what we want to change to additive global. So we're globally offsetting it. Okay, and you can see this is additive, so that we're not really setting it. We're adding it, so that way we're just doing an offset. We're not overriding the value uh, because we all we want is just move it that much. All right, we're not like overriding the actual translation Z. Okay, same idea here. Then we can do uh, the same to. Uh, the other joint. So you can, I think you can add in two atoms actually. I will just make things easier. Or uh, yeah, I'm gonna do them separately. I K foot R this time. And we drag in the R, the offset, and that value goes to the Z as well. Okay. And then finally, we also wanted to set up uh, the pelvis because we need to offset the pelvis as well okay so that way uh, the, the pelvis will go pelvis here okay and then uh, the pelvis z offset and get that and then put that in there okay all right because the pelvis is already moved down because <laughs> it's actually be, be, be uh, beyond the ground okay cool Alrighty, now this will um, look interesting. Let's get, go ahead and take a look at the result here. So first of all, you can see we're actually indeed planted on the ground in a very harsh way. You can see how there, right? Uh, that's actually what we want. We want to be uh, planted down. You can see how the front foot is perfectly landed on the surface in front of it. Uh, and like what we said earlier, we want to offset the pelvis down to the one foot that needs to go down the most, right? You can see we can still climb up, but that's actually an actual climb up, right? Uh, another thing you can see, uh, or we can see, is to just do a show um, bone, I believe, show bones. You can see we're seeing all the bones. You can see how the bones, right, are actually offset it down as well, right? Very nice, right? So yeah, we're good here. Now in the next video, we're gonna to try to actually apply a IK system so that it's not gonna be just shifting down, but also applying an IK to um, tell the foot, hey, you're here and you're there, and then the rest of the leg need to follow that IK position on the end. Okay, that's gonna be it for this video. See you guys next time.